Hi guys, um, welcome to this short video. Um, today's video is going to be about the Dell RC 2.4 GHz power amplifier, which is that thing there. And, well, the reason why I'm making this video is because I found a slightly better way of wiring this up rather than what is suggested by uh, Dell RC for the Futaba T14SG. Now, you can probably do this for any radio, you just have to do a bit of um, clever investigation, and um, but I'll explain what I did and how I did it. So first things first, um, with regards to the T14SG, you can see that uh, the actual transmitter module is at the top. Uh, yours might be covered with a shield, mine is not, I guess different countries, different regulations, doesn't matter. and. The pins that connect to that board are all of these little pins here on the side, as well as those two over there. Now, all of these pins go to the main processor, um, which is underneath this, and then I can't remove it at the moment because it's kind of stuck um, with double-sided tape. But basically what I did is I went through all of these pins and noted down what they were. Uh, this is your ground, that's your six volt power, and then we've got um, a couple of other voltages um, across here, but most of these, I believe, are data. I don't have an oscilloscope to actually be able to check what these are, and all I know is that when the radio is turned on and you're uh, transmitting a signal, then all of these, well, most of these have a voltage, uh, a DC voltage, um, this one is 3.6 volts and this one is 3.3 volts and they stay even when you uh, turn the RF transmission off. Um, you can do that by holding the return button and powering on the radio and I'll show you in just a second what happens. But basically um, I was looking for a pin which switches between 0 when RF is off and um, any voltage above 1 volt um, to switch on the Dell RC because the way that the Dell RC um, should be wired is you've got uh, negative, positive, and SW is a digital switch which they have um, built in so that you don't have to manually um, switch the amplifier on. Um, but the problem is that the way that they have suggested for you to wire this is to go down here. Um, and as you can see, that little uh, tab right there um, is actually 3.3 volt. So when you turn the radio on, this becomes 3.3 volts, and when you turn it off, it's zero. So meaning that the module switches off via that voltage. However, the problem with that is you can turn on the radio without RF transmission, and that will still be 3.3 volt, meaning that technically there will be no signal coming out of the RF transmission module and no signal going into the power amplifier. And therefore, the power amplifier will be on even though there is no signal. So that's not great, let's say. And I thought that there is a better way of doing it. Now I'm just going to disconnect the battery for... Oh, never mind, I'll just leave it in. Um, Basically, what you need to do is you will need to disassemble your radio and uh, desolder these wires. Uh, keep in mind that they are in reverse order to the other side. So you've got uh, ground and um, I guess maybe this is 3.3 volt or 5 volt. I'm not sure. I actually didn't check that one, but never mind. And then you've got the uh, orange and yellow, which are for your two potentiometers. Um, for the gimbals. The same th thing happens on the other side, but the difference is that they are in reverse order. So, you know, you only need to desolder one side and then you need to disconnect uh, this cable here, which is the LED uh, for the LCD screen. And you've got um, that, which is uh, the connector um, for, the, for the touch screen on the other side. And you have to really be careful with this one um, because that's where the LCD connects uh, onto 
and um, it's very easy to damage this so you have to be quite careful of how you how you actually remove this but um, in case you have a different radio I'm just going to show you how you can potentially wire this up um, without well, well you know just making sure that it works the way it's supposed to work and what I did is this so as you know the Fatawa radio on the front has two LEDs. Those two LEDs are actually SMD LEDs, so we don't see them protruding here. Uh, but what they have is, and I'm, I'm not going to bother removing the screws because um, there's no point um, in, in case your radio is different. Um, but what you do get is a little um, transistor that basically turns on 3.3 volt to the LED. Now, I tried initially just wiring it up to the LED directly, but the problem is that that little um, transistor does not want uh, to have any uh, any resistance, any wire, anything attached to it because otherwise the blue LED, which is your um, signal LED, doesn't actually um, light up properly and after a while it actually switches off uh, probably because you know the, the thing itself just stops working. But when you look a bit closer you will see these two pins here and they basically lead all the way to this connector right there. Now in my case and in the case of the Futaba T14SG it's the third pin so I'm just going to show you which pin this is. So it is this pin right there that switches to 3.3 volts unrestricted and it um, switches to zero when your RF transmission is off. Therefore, what you could do is you can either wire a cable between that third pin from the left to the uh, switch at the top, or alternatively, you can follow that cable to the back side, which will be the third pin from the top of the RF module, and then wire a little cable from there onto the Dell RC power amplifier. And then basically, when you turn on your radio, what's gonna happen is if you have a blue LED on your power, for your RF power, then the module uh, will transmit. And equally, you have two LEDs here. You have one, uh, one red LED, which is your main power LED. And then just underneath there, you have underneath the, this PCB, you also have, um, a blue LED, just like, you know, power for Futaba and RF power in, in the Futaba. So they, they match, basically. So that, that's good. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly plug in all those cables, flip the radio around, and I'll be back in just a second to show you how that works.